Hello everyone, this is Miss Howington here at Research Triangle High School, and today we are going to talk about how the Earth moves through space. Um, so the Earth moves, oh, so before we start, um, I have kind of dressed up our planet Earth here a little bit um, for your learning benefit. So around the equator, um, I gave it a nice hot pink belt, and then around the Tropic of Cancer, it has a light pink belt and another light pink one down here uh, along the Tropic of Capricorn. Um, and then you'll notice we have two straws sticking out the end. This will represent Earth's axis um, so that you kind of know where things are. And then I put a gold star over North Carolina where we are so that you know how this relates to you. All right, so the, we're going to talk about the four ways that Earth moves through space. First, we're going to talk about rotation, then revolution, precession, and nutation. So, rotation is when the Earth spins on its axis. So, I'm not sure how securely I taped those on there. Um, so, it's when the Earth just spins around on its axis, like this. Do -do 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 -do. So, now we have the sun here. Woo, that's bright. And so, when... Um, our little North Carolina, when it is facing the sun, that is day. When it's not facing the sun, so now North Carolina is over here, but you're going to have to take my word for it, it's dark, doesn't get any sunlight, so it's nighttime. Um, one full rotation, so for North Carolina, go from here all the way around to here, it takes 24 hours, and that gives us one day and one night. So remember, when we're facing the sun, it's day. When we're not facing the sun, it's night. Go cool figure. All right, next, we are going to talk about revolution or orbit. So this is when the Earth is traveling in and it's moving around the sun in an elliptical pattern. Um, and one revolution takes 365 days. So um, the revolution is part of the the reason that we have seasons. So the reason that we have seasons is twofold. Um, the first one is the tilt of the Earth's axis. So my axis is not exactly straight, but you get the idea. So the Earth is tilted on its axis about 23 and a half degrees off center. So instead, it doesn't sit straight up and down like this. In space, it sits kind of like this. Um, and so that causes one part of the Earth to be tilted towards the sun and the other part of the Earth to be kind of tilted away. So the northern hemisphere of the north of the equator and the southern hemisphere to the south of the equator. Um, and we just orient it like this because we live in the northern hemisphere and we like to be on top of things. Um, anyway, so the other reason that we have seasons is because the Earth is revolving around the Earth's sun barycenter. We'll talk about barycenters in a couple of days. So. When the Earth, when the hemisphere that you are in um, is tilted towards the sun, you're getting the most direct sunlight, and that's summer. When you revolve around here to the other side of the sun, whoop, now you can't see it at all, um, but there we go. So when the northern hemisphere is tilted, or the part of the Earth that you are in, which is the northern hemisphere for us, is tilted away from the sun, it's winter. But now it's summer in the southern hemisphere because they're tilted towards the sun. And as the Earth travels around, when it gets to these kind of middle points, the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere are not pointed towards or away from the sun. And so they're both getting equal amounts of sunlight. The sun's pretty much hitting straight on at the equator. And this is spring and fall. So... We have summer in the northern hemisphere when we're pointed towards, winter in the southern hemisphere. This would be uh, if the Earth is directly in front of the sun like that, not tilted towards or away from it, then um, that would be one of the equinoxes. Equinoxes is when the North Pole is neither pointing away or towards the sun. Um, so that would be fall for the northern hemisphere and then Winter for the northern hemisphere, summer for the southern hemisphere, spring for the northern hemisphere back here. Get the idea? Seasons. Okay. Um, and then, 
our second move or our third movement is called precession. So this is when there is a change in the Earth's axis, uh, in the direction that the Earth's axis is pointing. It stays tilted at the 23 and a half degrees off center, but it will eventually kind of rotate itself around in space. And by eventually, I mean really eventually. One processional cycle takes 26,000 years. So right now, our North Star is Polaris, so that means that our North Pole is pointing towards Polaris. In about 13,000 years, it will wobble its way around, or rotate its way around, and our new North Star will be a star called Vega. And then in another 13,000 years after that, it'll make its way back, and our North Star will be Polaris again. Um, so it's just the change in direction that the Earth's axis is pointing towards which star. Um, and then lastly, lastly, we have a movement called nutation. So this is happening while precession is happening. So while the Earth's axis is changing its direction, it's kind of weeble wobbling a little bit. Only one degree, so it's really not detectable to us at all. But while it's doing precession over that 26,000 years, it's doing this little wobble thing. Um, so those are the four movements that Earth, uh, the four main movements that Earth uh, makes as it goes through space. Um, later in class, we will talk more in depth about the reason for the seasons um, and all sorts of other fun things. All right, see you guys in class.